Matt Carpenter was a, a little bit of a question mark when you guys signed him, but can you just describe what he has meant to this team? Uh, it's become an exclamation point. Um, just, I mean, it's really impressive what he's doing. Um, and it's just been from day one at bat one through his last at bat of the night. It's just been a lot of quality at bats and uh, just just a guy that's been great in the clubhouse. Um, it's fit in perfectly and uh, really impressive. From your vantage point, how has he been able to maintain that level of consistency that he has since essentially day one, as you mentioned? I mean, that's all I've seen. Um, you know, we got him. He was home for, I don't know, five, six days. Comes to us. I remember that first day in Tampa, not in the lineup, and then all of a sudden we had a scratch. Okay, you're in there against a the lefty, and it's just right away, bang. And, uh, and then it's, you know, at different times, sit for a handful of days, get in the lineup, boom. When he's not in the lineup, obviously a tremendous weapon off the bench. Um, you know, has been eager to to play different positions, which has, you know, opened up some opportunities for him. But um, it's been really impressive. It seemed like after that first inning, Tyone really found his way there. What adjustment did he make, if any, that allowed him to, to kind of get through fairly easily through six? Yeah, um, I thought he executed really well. Um, it. it I thought he had a presence, a really good presence on both sides of the plate. Um, was able to get in, used his two-seamer in, into some righties. Um, the cutter was there for him. I, I thought he had a good slider going. Also, the four-seamer. I just thought he mixed it up really well, but had, it seemed like he had a presence on both sides of the plate and really um, was able to, 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 I think, gain some respect on the inside part of the plate, which, which opened things up for him. Um, but a, but a really strong performance by him. I, you know, it's it's in line with what we've been seeing over the last month. Just the last month, it's just been a handful of mistakes that have killed him. And you know, it makes you know hangs a breaking ball there to Devers in the first, um, but then you know, just stayed away from trouble from there on out. Justin, just back to Carpenter. The the changes that he's made to his swing have been well documented by a lot of people. What do you see when he's swinging the bat? I see a guy that, I mean, pretty simple. You know, he starts in a weak position, builds some speed with his hands, loads up the backside, and, and fires, you know, and he's controlling the strike zone. Um, you know, I, the last at bat there is just, you know, tough left on left match, and he's just, it's just like there's not a lot of places to go on him. You know, he just kept spoiling, spoiling. Almost probably clipped a few of those that he fouled off and then just kind of works the walk. Um, I just see simplicity to what he's doing. Who else? In the back left. How nice was it for you to see Aaron Judge back in full groove again? Yeah, it was great. Uh, he was... He, he was he was obviously great for us. Um, you know the first homer, and then the the second homer was really impressive. To take that slider, I have to see exactly where it was. Uh, I'm sure it was you know a pretty good pitch to hit, but it wasn't you know one of those that just hangs up above the belt that you just clear out and to, to ride it out the way he did to that to the back of the bullpen on a pitch like that. That's a small small amount of people in the world that can do that and put that kind of swing on that ball. So um, really good to see him have some really good at-bats tonight. Lindsay. What, what message do you think it sends that Matt was willing to sort of just rebuild himself to try to create the success instead of sort of relying on, on, on past performance? <clears throat> yeah. Um, you know, I think it's a testament to him and, wanting to squeeze everything out of his career. Obviously, it's a guy that's had a really good career if he had gone home after last season. Um, you know, he's he's done well in this game, um, you know, from a contractual standpoint. Um, but obviously, there's something within him that, A, loves the game, and, and B, felt like there was more to get out of it. And going through some struggles the last couple of years, you know, forced him to ask some questions and and work through some things and and make some make some tweaks, and he's reaping those benefits um, now. And just aside from the 
astounding on-field performance. What is what is he bringing to you guys? From a, from Just a joy, you know, since day one he walked in, you know. Uh, what was the line? He'd, he'd load the luggage or, or whatever it was um, onto the plane. Like, that's the kind of sense you've got from him, that he's really excited to be here every day, really excited to be a part of that team. Um, and so he just kind of fit in right away, you know, a, a guy with his track record and experience and kind of career he's had, just a willingness to kind of do whatever's been asked. Um, and he's done that and more, and uh, we're lucky to have him right now. Hi, what do you think made the difference tonight versus yesterday? In? Um, score. Oh, I mean, I mean, that's baseball. I mean, we just – you know, we're able to put together a lot of really good at bats against uh, Pavetta there. Made it tough on him right from Jump Street. You know, I think he was up around 30 pitches in that first inning, and I thought the guys had a lot of really good at bats. So we were able to kind of break it open early, and then and then a lot of good at bats to just keep adding on.